Hey guys, what's going on? Hayden here with a Pokemon Sun and Moon news update. I know I missed the last news update, but we got some stuff from Coral Coral that we gotta discuss. So, th this is a big one for me personally because we got Rockruff's evolution. I love Rockruff. Um, I did already get to look at this. I, I know I'm a little late to this. I was at the doctor's, so I, I already looked at this, but I'm gonna go through it with you guys, give my opinions on it all. So, the first images from Coral Coral have leaked and revealed the latest Pokemon Sun and Moon news. As always, do note that the translations are preliminary while we work on them. The name of the Pokemon Rockruff evolves into is Lug Lugarugan, and has, diff and has a different appearance based on if it evolves and, and the day or at night. It notes that Rockruff becomes the midday form when bathed in rays of sun, and when it's full of night's power, it becomes the midnight form. No types or further details have been given, so we don't know what type it is yet. Now, we've got new information on two new Ultra Beasts. Now, I'm still a little unfamiliar on what Ultra Beasts are. Like, I, can you catch them? Can you, like, how strong are they? They're obviously going to be very strong. Um, but I don't know if we ever found out, like, if you can catch them or not, or what the deal is, like, what kind of stats they have. But we've got two new Ultra Beasts. So, so here, here, let's go through these pictures real quick. So we got, oh, Jesus. Let's zoom out. We got Rockruff's Evolution, and the daytime one is personally the one I want to get. I'm liking that one a lot more. Because the nighttime one just reminds me of, like, like a furry's, like, best dream coming true or something like that. I, I'm not into that. Um, and then these are the Ultra Beasts. So, like, cool. Like, what, like, what are they? Like, I don't really, I don't really know what to say on them. Um, but that's pretty much it in the um, games department. Um, is there anything else there? Yeah, no, it's pretty much it. It says that UBO1's name is a mystery. It may have a deep meaning. Don't really know, but that's pretty much it from the games. But I want to talk about the anime for a second because I, I've, I've always followed the Pokemon anime. I got a little uninterested in black and white, but I still stuck through it and watched it because, let's be real, it sucked. Um, but the X and Y anime, holy cow, it's amazing. Like, it does, it is way better than it should be. But it's really good, which has made a lot of people excited for how the Alola anime is going to go. And it looks like Ash is actually coming back in the anime. Um, now, I, honestly, I love this face. Like, it just makes him look very goofy, like a goofy anime protagonist. And I'm really into that kind of persona. Um, I really did like the more serious and mature take he took on, him, I guess, on himself in the X and Y anime. But I could also see this going really well, too. So... One thing I do want to discuss about this, though, is that Mallow is here. Now, if you guys don't remember, Mallow is one of the trial leaders, or trial captains, or whatever it's called, um, for the Alola region, similar to how Clement was a gym leader and how Brock was a gym leader. I have a feeling that she's going to be traveling with him. Um, and this is because, this is for a few reasons. One, she's got a major um, appearance here on the, Alo on the um, artwork for the Alola anime. But also because she was in the um, Litten Final Evolution leak, like the concept art leak, right next to Ash, M just making me think that she's the travel, the female travel companion. Which I mean, I, I want to reserve judgment because she could be a really awesome character. But I, along with a lot of people, really wanted Serena to come back, and it's not looking too positive. I don't know. We'll see, but. Uh, I don't know. We, maybe we won't get Serena, which really sucks, because I think there's a lot of development still for her as a character. Um, and, of course, her and Ash being a thing, like, it, it just makes me upset. But um, we do see here that Rockruff is here. Hopefully Ash gets a Rockruff. I'd be super happy about that. Uh, and he's doing the Z-move pose, so that's really cool. And we can see a Charizard here. Now, this could mean two things. One, his Charizard is returning... Or two, the more likely one, is that um, there's that whole, like, calling on Pokemon as, like, a service thing in um, the Alola region. And Charizard is one of them that's been shown off in the game. So, I guess we'll see. But does Team Rocket have a, be a beware? Like, well, what's that all about? Like, the thing's huge. But, um, anyway, that's pretty much my opinions on it. Rockruff's Evolution, at least the daytime one is really cool. The nighttime one is, eh, I, I'm not really into it. Um, and Serena looks like she's not coming back in the anime, but what can you do? So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, and don't forget to drop a subscription to my channel if you've not already. 
for more Pokemon news, when I can get around to it. Of course, life happens sometimes, so I don't always get to the news. And other Nintendo goodness. All right, peace out, guys. Bye.